Okay, everyone, you'll have to excuse my hair. I haven't fixed my hair, and I haven't gotten dressed yet. I have been on a, uh, uh, just a hunt for some sort of mask. I need to wash my hands. Okay. Um, it's not looking good at all. Um, I have found out that the state of Colorado is completely out. They're completely out. Amazon is back ordered. And, um, I called all the medical supply... Hold on, make sure it's like hot medical supply places. Guess what? They don't have them. Yeah, they don't have them. So, um, basically, they told me the places I called. People have actually been calling and asking for a while. Two places I called were out of service. So, um, yeah, it's nice and warm. Let me just share with you. I called St. Joseph's here in Colorado. Let me share with you what I learned, okay? I, I was trying to figure out the type of mask that is ideal. Now, the N95 is what she recommended, okay, and from St. Joseph's. They currently only have two boxes of masks in entirety for the hospital. Now, I don't know what size the boxes are, okay? And she also said that the medicine, they are in trouble with medicine. There is no extra. And she said there is a shortness of supplies, and this is what I heard on the news, that hospitals had a shortness of masks. Why is President Trump, last I heard him speak about this, saying we've got it all under control, nobody worry about it? Why is he saying this when, when I'm calling a local hospital and they don't even have anything? They don't have what they need. And they, she also said that their vendors have no masks and no medicines to give. And she said hospitals are not ready. There are no resources. I seriously want to cry. I should have listened to Peak Prosperity four weeks ago and went and got all this. I kind of talked with a couple of family members about it. They're like, don't worry about it, Amanda. Don't panic. You know, it's going to, the summer will burn it off. This is not accurate. This is worse than SARS. This is worse than the flu. It's not the same and it is more deadly. Um, Peak Prosperity, Dr. John Campbell, gets to news and data that is not biased and that is not influenced by um, politics and money, etc. Um, just really uh, upsetting to find out. I can't find these masks anywhere. I went online and I, I thank that woman. Thank goodness for her being able to tell me the N95, N-95 mask. Well, guess what? It's starting at about $17 as far as I can see online so far for one mask, $17. So not everybody can afford that. Um... Secondly, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to order it. I've got to figure it out. Where's it coming from is another issue. You know, this virus can stay on surfaces for quite a while, up to five days they've found. Um, of course, we can sterilize things when we get them whatnot. I'm not quite as much worried about that, but, I mean, just, just thinking abroad. I mean, just, you know, food for thought. Um, so I'm going to just have to order those. They don't really come in kid sizes. It's one size, so um, I'm going to have to figure that out, but... In the state of Colorado, there are no masks. So if you are in Colorado right now, this is where we are at. This is what we're dealing with. Um, this is really terrible. This is really, really terrible. We are not ready for this. And this is real. This is not, you know, everybody panic. This is uh, be, get prepared. And those who can help others, I'm going to get teary-eyed. Those who can help others... We've got to help. We've got to help other people. We've got to stick together on this. And we need to realize that this virus, this COVID-19, like the mad cow disease and many other virus diseases, came from animal agriculture. Check out Earthling Ed, his channel. He um, brings to light the issue we're having with antibiotic resistance due to the amount of antibiotics we're putting into the animals just to keep them alive, simply to slaughter them. Oh, and now we're testing this vaccine on all these animals to try and get answers. You know, we exploited animals, we got ourselves to this point, and then we exploit them further. People are dying. We're not prepared. <sighs> Hang on tight, everyone. And do not let anybody make you feel like you are being, you are not doing what's right. 